Welcome to our Tech Support Top Tips collection. In this video, we'll explain how to retrieve Galaher controller error logs. These logs contain diagnostic information that can be used by Galaher technical support to identify problems with controller 6000s. Controller error logs are usually required when troubleshooting problems with a specific controller. For example, communication issues, unexpected restarts, or other unusual behavior. Controller error logs can be used in isolation, but are often required in addition to server diagnostic logs and activity reports. Please see the relevant Tech Support Top Tips videos for more information regarding these logs. Controller error logs are accessed from the controller's debug web page. To access the web page, enable www connections from the controller's status and overrides tab. Use a web browser to open the debug page with this URL. Controller IP forward slash debug period. Note the period in the address is required. Enter the username and password. The username is diagnostic and is case sensitive and all lowercase. If the controller is in a one flash state, a site specific password is required, which is derived from the site serial number. Please contact Tech Support, who will provide you with the required password. If the controller is in a two flash state, the default password is required. The default password is Cardax FT. Once logged in, use the following links to open the relevant logs. If the controller is running 820 firmware or above on Linux, open the application log, system log, and boot log. For each of the above logs, select all text then copy and paste the information into a text file. Name each text file to reflect the contents. For example, controller1 underscore application underscore log dot text. For Windows CE, this will be different. Zip the logs into a single file and send to Galaha Tech Support for further investigation. Bear in mind that the server diagnostic logs and an activity report may also be required to assist troubleshooting. <laughs> 